deaths is dropping across the country. A trend local officials are hoping to duplicate. News 10's Zachariah Wheaton here in studio with more on that effort. Yeah, good evening, David and Ann. According to a new federal report, overdose deaths in the U.S. are the lowest they've been in three years, with the use of the drug reversing medicine naloxone also on the rise. Hoping to bring that trend to mid-Michigan, opioid settlement funding has recently become available in Eaton County. Michigan overdose data shows just under 3,000 people died from an overdose last year, a slight decrease from years prior. Opioid settlement funds have helped continue that trend with communities across the state making a dent in the crisis, with Eaton County set to receive $300,000 next year. We have a huge swath of rural areas. We also have Delta Township. You know, we have, we have urban versus rural, and those things that are affecting each area are vastly different. Our hope is to have as big of an impact as possible with these funds. According to the Wexner Medical Center at Ohio State University, the number of people administering naloxone to someone experiencing an overdose has increased by more than 43 percent. Experts attribute the rise to public awareness and naloxone being more readily available. A late person having this in their hands can actually save someone from an opioid overdose. So trying to get this into the hands of people who can use it to save a life is critically important. So Eaton County is asking local recovery groups to apply for opioid settlement funding. The community needs assessment and strategic plan that commissioners came up with earlier this year found they need to add more services across the board, including with residential treatment and transportation services. We want them to apply for funding. Whether you're starting a program, you want to enhance a program, um, or you even have just an inkling of an idea for, for a service that could benefit folks, uh, we want you to apply for this funding. The deadline for groups to apply for this funding is November 18th. You can fill out an application at the Eaton County Courthouse or find one at this web story on WILX.com. Today is the 7th annual Power 